With the destruction of both the Jedi Order and Republic, and with the rise of the Galactic Empire at the control of Darth Sidious, the Sith ultimately succeeded in their goal to rule the galaxy. Although the Sith Order underwent a significant reformation under the guidance of Darth Bane, roughly 1,000 years before the events of A New Hope, the Sith Order was an ancient order that had long sought to gain power over the galaxy and who had declared the Jedi Order to be their mortal enemies. But how did the Sith Order come to exist, to where two of its adherents, Darth Sidious and Darth Vader, came to control the galaxy and achieve the aim of annihilating the Jedi? In this video expose, I will describe how the Sith Order was born out of the event known as the Hundred Year Darkness through the actions of a former member of the Jedi Order who had gone rogue by desiring to utilize the power of the dark side. Further, I will focus on only the canon material as it relates to the Hundred Year Darkness and the Rise of the Sith, as there is an event in Legends that goes by the same name and similarly describes a group of Jedi that left the Order to follow down the path of the dark side but this video will only describe that which is considered canon. Prior to the Hundred Year Darkness and the Rise of the Sith, the Jedi Order existed as a monastic organization that dedicated itself to the light side of the Force, and structured their teachings and principles around the light. For the Jedi Order at the time, their alignment with the light side called for a focus on calmness, and the Order taught that the light side of the Force could only be used for defense, and only to further one's knowledge. As such, the ancient Jedi Order prior to the Hundred Year Darkness encouraged its members to follow a set of guidelines that centered around self-discipline, public service, and responsibility. Although we don't know the exact time period in which the Hundred Year Darkness took place, we do know that by five years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, the Sith had been in existence for at least 6,000 years up to that point. Therefore, we know that the Hundred Year Darkness had to have taken place no earlier than 6,000 years prior to the events of the Clone Wars. Before the Hundred Year Darkness, there had been unity within the Jedi Order, as the Jedi and the individuals who would go on to found the Sith Order were considered to be brothers and sisters in the Force. However, this unity was ultimately severed by the period known as the Hundred Year Darkness, a period of time that served as the catalyst for the founding of the Sith an order of Force users who utilized the dark side of the Force to achieve dominance over the galaxy, and who would be the ancient enemies of the Jedi for thousands of years to come. The Hundred Year Darkness was set in motion when a rogue Jedi sought further power and knowledge that could be uncovered through learning the dark side of the Force, rather than solely a strict adherence to learning only the teachings of the Light as done by the Jedi Order at that time. Not much is known about who this rogue Jedi was, but they were a male, and they had been a member of the Jedi Order prior to the Hundred Year Darkness occurring. This rogue Jedi began studying the teachings and arts of the Dark Side of the Force, which had been forbidden by the Jedi Order at the time. Ultimately, through these teachings, the rogue Jedi came to believe that the true power of the Force could only be achieved by tapping into the Dark Side, and only then could its true potential be achieved and gained. Because of these findings, the rogue Jedi came to reject the Jedi dedication and commitment to contemplation and passivity, as these principles could never allow a Force user to achieve their true potential for power. Instead, the rogue Jedi sought abandon, strength, and power through the dark side of the Force. The Jedi High Council, who became fully aware of the rogue Jedi's new beliefs, recoiled from and resisted this new direction. Upset that the rogue Jedi came to hold these beliefs, the Council ultimately exiled him from the Jedi Order. As a Dark Jedi, that is, as an individual who practiced the Dark Side of the Force, but was not yet a Sith Lord given the fact that the Sith were not yet in existence, the outcast Jedi left the Order. However, before long, this rogue Jedi ultimately found followers to adhere to this new philosophy, centered around the embrace and acceptance of the Dark Side of the Force. Eventually, the rogue Jedi was able to amass a substantial number of followers to his new order. This significant schism between the Jedi Order and the rogue Jedi and his new following directly resulted in the formation of the Sith, as well as to the event known as the Hundred Year Darkness. The Hundred Year Darkness not only marked the rise of the Sith Order, but also saw a brutal conflict emerge between the Jedi Order and the newly formed Sith Order, wherein the former brothers and sisters in the Force fought against one another for power within the galaxy. 
The Sith's hunger for power led to a series of wars throughout this period that brought chaos and destruction to many worlds. Although the war between the Jedi Order and the newly formed Sith Order ended in the defeat of the Sith, they ultimately retreated from known space, and unbeknownst to the Jedi, settled on the Outer Rim planet of Moraban, where the Sith rebuilt in secret to one day strike again at the Jedi. So there we have it! How the Sith Order was born out of the events of the Hundred Year Darkness through the actions of a former Jedi who had gone rogue. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me, for Jedi Calmness.